Welcome back guys, in this video I'll be showing you how to use DLSS for upscale in conjunction with XCSS or FSR frame generation in about we'll use OptiScaler mod to achieve this with FSR frame generation reflex will work and with XCSS frame generation XCSS low latency mode will work I'll test the PC game pass version of the game FSR frame generation in this game causes a character's shadow to flicker during fast visual motion. It also produces some ghosting around the left edge of the display when a character is close to it. These artifacts are not present in the case of XCSS frame gen. This is why I recommend using it instead of FSR frame gen. The game comes with an older version of TLSS for upscaler. So I'll simply use NVIDIA app to override TLSS upscaler to version 310.3.0. We'll use OptiScaler Mod's latest preview 5 version 0 0.9 build 20251106. It's available on their Discord server. Just click on the .7z link here. Open NVIDIA app. Click on Graphics. From this list, select About. Scroll down until you find this setting. DLSS Overwrite Model Presets. Click on the pencil icon next to it. Then select Latest as the option. I have already done that. Click on Apply. We'll be using DLSS debug overlay to verify the upscaler's details. I'll activate the overlay by executing this registry code provided by Emos. Copy the lines. Create a new text file anywhere on your PC. Name it anything you want. I'll just name it as overlay. Change the extension from .txt to .reg. Hit enter. Yes. Select the file right click. Open with notepad. Paste the lines here. File. Save. Close, select the file, right click, open. Yes, okay. Now I'll install OptiScaler mod, just open its archive file. Select the highlighted files, OptiScaler.ini, mods configuration file, Optiscaler.dll, mod loader file, libxcss underscore fg.dll, xcss frame generation file, libxcss.dll, xcss super resolution file for TX12 and Vulkan APIs, libxcll.dll, xcss low latency mode file, Fake NV API dot INI, fake NV API dot TLL. Fake NV API will replace the in game reflex implementation with XCLL. Not using Newcom 9 Smart, Vulkan version of Fidelity FX not required. Select all of the DX12 versions of Fidelity FX files. Right click, copy. Open Xbox PC app, go to your library. Select About. Click on the three dots here. Click on Manage. Click on Files. Click on Browse. This will open the game's install folder. Open content folder, Alabama folder, find this folder, win GDK folder, paste everything here. Now we just need to change the name of optiscaler.tll file to dxj.tll. Mod has been installed. Enabling hardware accelerated GPU shuttling setting is not a mandatory requirement for using XCSS frame generation, but if you have an RTX GPU, it's recommended to enable this setting. Right click anywhere on the desktop, click on display settings, click on graphics, click on advanced graphics settings and from here enable hardware accelerated GPU shuttling setting. My monitor supports variable refresh rate, enable the setting as well. Now I'll enable vSync from NVIDIA control panel. Click on manage 3D settings, click on program settings, from this drop down bar select about, scroll down to then, enable vSync from here. My monitor is G-Sync compatible. I'll enable the corresponding settings for it. Click on Setup G-Sync and enable the following settings. Enable G-Sync, G-Sync compatible. Enable for full screen mode and enable settings for the selected display model. I'll also enable G-Sync compatible indicator. This step is optional. Click on Display. Check this setting. G-Sync compatible indicator. We'll be using RTSS and Afterburner to show you the performance stats. Just open RTSS. Click on Setup. Scroll down to the end. Make sure enable frame rate limiter and inject NVIDIA reflex latency marker settings are disabled. Use Microsoft D2's API hooking setting enabled. Now RTSS should not conflict with OptiScaler mod launch the game. In game settings, display mode set to windowed full skin required for using XCFG. Resolution full HD, no FPS gap applied, motion blur disabled. Vsync ray tracing off of scalar DLSS using its quality preset. Reflex on. Post processing setting set to low, rest of the setting set to medium. Once the game loads up, just press insert keyboard key to open OptiScaler menu. There it is. Upscaler, DLSS selected, version 310.3.0. Here it's mentioned that presets are overridden externally. This is due to NVIDIA app. Input in-game DLSS upscaler, TXJS spoofing off. 
auto expert setting is on frame generation disable for the time being i'll enable opti scalers performance only expand fps only section check the setting fps only enable full plus graph scale 1.3 dlss debug only can be seen in the bottom left corner dlss auto expert setting is on render preset use this k and yeah, this is the transformer model of dlss 4 base resolution 720p upscale to full hd save and close yeah there is a character it's an action role playing game we can play it in either first person or third person mode accompanied by kai ai control companion i prefer playing the game in first person mode for a more immersive experience character's hair is looking a bit pixelated not impressed by the image quality switch to first person mode here you go need to take out these creatures just cast my fire spell on this creature dodge still got burn kai will be helping us during combat okay someone is healing these creatures that guy need to take him out first FPS is close to 60 but I am observing some micro stuttering. The skin uses Unreal Engine 5 so I'm not surprised. The stuttering is synonymous with Unreal Engine 5. Go hand in hand. Last guy. Okay, now I'll enable FSR frame generation should help in improving frame pacing. Use yes, open opti scaler mod click on the drop down bar next to fg source select dlss gy streamline as the option the game officially supports dlss frame generation and streamline version 2.7 so this option should work fine we won't be required to deal with hard fix click on the drop down bar next to fg output and select fsr fg as the option and video reflex will also work save and i close we need to restart the game After restarting the game, you need to enable the in-game DLSS frame generation setting. Once the game loads up, just open OptiScale menu and check the setting active under Frame Generation FSR FG. This will enable FSR frame gen. I'll also enable Allow Async setting. Should you check it, you have enable the setting. It will highlight game's HUD elements pink in color. They won't exhibit any flickering. With FSR frame gen enabled, you can also check FSR frame gen debug view. Displays are working properly for all of the images. Games hard elements are not visible in the bottom middle image. They won't exhibit any flickering with FSR frame gen enabled. DLSS debug overlay is visible in the bottom middle image. Just disable it after verifying the upscaler's details. Color palette is exactly the same for the bottom middle and bottom right images. Smoothing effect of FSR will work properly. Disable debug view. Just observe a character's shadow. It looks a bit blurry during fast visual motion with FSR frame generation enabled. This can be very distracting. Now I'll jump into combat. FPS here is close to 100. That's really good to see. Animation quality is looking much smoother than before. FSR frame generation is doing a good job of improving the game's performance. Game side elements they are not flickering. Only DLSS debug only is flickering as expected. Just disable it after verifying the upscaler's details. Latency is not an issue as the pace FPS is close to 60, and Nvidia Reflex is also working. Oh no, almost died there. This guy, this creature is healing the other creatures. Take him out. Here you go. Okay, now I'll switch to XCFG. During combat, it is stayed within the range of 100 to 105. Just open Opti Scaler menu. Make sure DLSS GY Streamline is selected as the FG source. Click on the drop down bar next to FG output and select XCFG as the option. Click on Save and I close and restart the game. Again, make sure that the in-game DLSS frame generation setting is enabled. Once the game loads up, open Opti Scaler menu and check the setting active under Frame Generation XCFG. This will enable XCFG's frame gen. Frame time graph will become thick like this. Debug view on. I can see the purple side bars flickering. Uncheck debug view. XCSS low latency mode is working. Save and I close. Check out the character shadow. Yeah, it's not looking blurry even during fast visual motion. With XCSS frame gen enabled, and here we're getting around 105 FPS. Animation quality, it's looking smooth. 
XS's frame gen's latency seems to be slightly lower than that of FSR frame gen. Quickly clear the area. We were getting 5 to 6 FPS higher than this with FSR frame generation. So XS's frame gen is slightly heavier than FSR frame gen in this game. Just use my fire spell. Feature got fried. You can use either frame generation technique in this game. It's up to you. Take out this guy. Healing the other creature. Oh my god, my character went flying. Use my other spell. Close them. I need help. Try this creature. Yeah, 90 FPS here. In the FSR frame gen FPS was mostly close to 100 during combat. Before ending the video, I'll show you how to disable TLSS debug overlay. Just need to edit overlay.reg file that we created earlier. Select the file, right click, open with notepad, replace the number 4 here with 0. Click on file, save, close, select the file, right click, open. Yes, okay. That's it with the video, guys. I hope you find it useful. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.